Today's topic, subtle versus obnoxious. Today's date is August 16th, 2011, and this is in Pittsburgh downtown area. I let the pedestrian go by because I'm awesome. I always do that. I don't know. For some reason, I have the idea that, um, I don't know if this is, I, I've noticed in some videos with, like from foreign countries, they have this kind of unspoken rule where if there's like an, a, a peasant farmer walking across the road with this herd of, I don't know, goats or sheep or whatever, that the people in the vehicles, if they're, you know, because they're crossing the road, would stop out of cr common courtesy because they aren't as fortunate and just kind of uh, due to respect because they wouldn't be able to afford the vehicle or something, something to that nature. And while it's a law in the States to yield the right of the pedestrians, I mean, I still think that it's, um, I mean, like back there, that guy was just casually standing there. He wasn't in the hurry or didn't let on to that. He wasn't like at the edge of the corner racing to get by. I still kind of treat it as such, and I try to let as many pedestrians by, um, you know, ahead of me when I'm in a vehicle, even if I'm running late. It's just kind of my mentality. All right, so enough sidetrack. Sorry, get enough. Getting back on track. Subtle versus obnoxious. What's the uh, most? What's the? Sorry, not the most. What is the best way? to gain attention. I've been thinking about this. This has been in the back of my head for years because it, it, I'm very, very interested in marketing. And the, the reason behind it is, it's basically, they're both get attention getters and they, they're they gonna have varying degrees on, on the amount of or attention to detail. But my question is, what is a better attention grabber? What is actually gonna retain those thoughts of individuals who witnessed your actions? or your, your ad, or your product, what is going to gain their um, inspiration, that they're going to want to come back and purchase more of what you have to offer. So, let me, <coughs> excuse me, let me give you an example. We have something that is totally obnoxious. We have, we're going to take the same car because it could be very understood this vehicle I'm going to explain to you, which is no expression whatsoever, and there's nothing wrong with it, but there's just no sense of ownership other than you own it. There's no, like, ooh, look at what I have. I'm making a statement from it. And that is, it's Toyota Corolla. If you haven't, I'm sorry. It's just a very dull car to me, in my opinion. But it's still a great car. So what my point is, if you could modify it in one way or several ways, how would you do it? Would you paint it bright orange and put flames going down the side of it and put massive rims, like 19 inch rims on those things? Or would you go about taking little, little itty bitty uh, stencils and doing line work across the fenders and just little details like that? Going, putting a new trim or new stitching in the seats, taking the knobs and, and making them just a little bit darker. It's very, very subtle things, but nonetheless differences. What is going to be a more effective way to gain attention? Now, as a whole, you are going to grab more attention by being obnoxious because that's obviously making yourself known and present. But at the same time, is that a good thing? Because at, while you're gaining that attention, you're also being annoying to a lot of people. Whereas, the person who's going to be subtle, those details aren't screaming out, hey, look at me. No, they're very small. You're not going to notice them until you're right up on the vehicle looking at the little detail. And... That's probably going to be interesting because that's such a dull car. Anything that you do to it is going to be interesting. So they're going to instantly be going, oh, look at that. So my question to you, and leave a comment below because I'd love to hear about this, is for you, what is more, uh, I guess, lasting in the impression that someone might leave? Is it the subtle things that they did, or is it the more obnoxious things that they did? Now, it doesn't have to be about things like... Uh, actual ownership of something. It doesn't have to be an object like how creative the hate scheme was or whatever. I'm talking about maybe the actions as well. <laughs> Excuse me. If someone like is always quiet and they spoke up and they said something truly amazing, did you remember that? Or was it the person who just yells their, their head off but actually grabbed your attention and you learned something from it? That, that's kind of what I'm going towards here. So um, if I'm not mistaken, this lady was like walking way past her time. Like there is green. And I wait here, so I buzzed the back of her. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm just, I didn't hit her. I wouldn't have hit her. She knew she was late, so uh, people are late. What can you do? All right, I'm running out of time. I'm stalling because it's the end of the video. 
Uh, I guess we give a little quick update. I have started my new job and am enjoying it, except for the training videos because I don't have the patience to sit through them. Because some of the stuff you know, but you got to take anyways, but you can't skip ahead because you can't click. Anyways, I hate training videos. Period. I'd rather be trained in person so you can learn at their pace because they're also going to give you the best instruction regardless because they know the stuff. It's not just someone paid to make the training video for you. But, alright, that's enough of that. And, uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Alright, ride safe. See ya. Peace.